The La Pleasure Beach is arguably one of the most known and well patronized beaches in the country. It is surrounded by the Labadi Beach Hotel, the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, and the Peshi Lagoon. Stanley Nibli and I had come here not to look at how dirty the place is, as we have done previously, but to explore the work life of the fisher folk here. Behind the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, we spotted these fisher folk who had just returned from offshore. They happily drew their nets in anticipation of a good catch. This is known by the locals as Adana or Chani. The fishermen used to go and spread the net. They will leave one rope and then go and spread the net. Then they will bring the other end of the net. You see, then they draw it. When they draw it, the fish will be entering the, 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 you know, the net. It is all fun as Jama songs are sung to boost the morale of the volunteers drawing the rope. When we get the bumper, uh, uh, harvest like this, the fishermen used to get happy because uh, not every time you go to fishing and you get fish. You know, even it motivates me all around because you don't have anything doing anything. You know, when I see that, what will I do? But when I go to shore, I think something better will come out from it. I think your Kenke and your Gary will never miss it. After about four hours of hard work, it is time to be rewarded and the look in the eyes of the fisher folk says it all. We are happy. Onushi, I can walk below. Sometimes they were not, sometimes they were not. Come on, we know now, look me back. Bonushi, hey. In the previous time, they used to share money after drawing the net. We go to house and in the evening, we go and share money. The children may get about three pence. Gogo's time. By this time, they give you fish instead of money. From the beach, we then decided to ascertain the situation at the Peshi Estuary. This meant crossing the lagoon to get to the right place for observation. Stanley Nibli was the first to be carried across. I then followed, but it appeared the pleasurable nature of being carried made me forget my bag. From a distance, we noticed these fisher folk in the lagoon. For the over 30 minutes we observed them, all they could catch was plastic waste. They could not hide their frustration. Persons who indiscriminately throw garbage into gutters may perhaps be largely responsible for the woes of the fishermen. We return with one lesson that we will get the best of our natural resources if we keep them well. For Metro TV News, this is Gabriel Obodai Togo Ashon and Stanley Nibliwu's report. <laughs>